Good morning. My name is Dan Miller. I'm senior editor with uh, DTM, the Progressive Farmer. We're here at the National Farm Machinery Show in Louisville, Kentucky, and I'm here this morning with Luke Zerbe. And Luke is a precision land management marketing manager with New Holland. And Luke is going to take us on a tour of the New Holland's new tractor, the Genesis T8 with PLM Intelligence. So Luke, tell us what we're looking at here. So this is our Genesis T8 tractor. It's the 25th anniversary of the initial Genesis launch. So it kind of times out very nicely. We're showing this, this evolution here of our, our ag equipment here it's with the new tractor moving forward. So you see from the outside looking at the tractor, your customers and our viewers may not see a lot of differences. Really a lot of the changes come when you get into the cab. So when we step up into the cab of this tractor here, we're gonna see a completely new user interface. Uh, and the entire cab has been redesigned for about over the past five or six years really engage with customer clinics and asking our customers, you know, what do they need in the cab to give them the most ideal experience so that they're as productive as possible, they're as comfortable as possible, so, they, so that they can be as efficient as possible. Okay, so how did you how did you address the customer, uh, their, their desires, I guess, for this tractor? Well, we started just by bringing them in and just asking them what they wanted. So we did this uh, globally across uh, several different countries. You know, New Holland works with our automotive uh, sisters and their company, so we get some of that ergonomic design coming into the cab to make sure that the armrest is comfortable. We're going to be spending 10, 12 hours a day out in the field on the tractor. You know, if you want to make sure it's comfortable as possible, there's no additional pain points or stress that takes away from your ability to be efficient. Okay. So we've really worked step by step in bringing them in and I try to listen to not just from a, a seating and comfort, but a new climate control system. Uh, we've got a new display, a new armrest, which we'll get into. You know, all this just to make it easier to spend time in the cab and be more connected with the rest of the world around them as well. Okay, you've mentioned the armrest. It's called the Sidewinder Ultra, correct? Yes, our new Sidewinder Ultra armrest has uh, been redesigned. Uh, really bringing up to the modern day. You know, we look at that Sidewinder Ultra armrest along with that IntelliView 12 display. When you get into this cab, it's really kind of, it takes a step back. A lot of the dealers, the first time we showed it, some of our dealers brought them in for clinics as well. And they get in there and just, I can't believe this is a tractor cab because it's so comfortable. There's so many features in here. It's more like getting into a luxury truck than what they're used to getting into a, a tractor. Sure, sure. Well, let's go over and take a look at that, right? We're gonna okay. So look, tell us what we're looking at here. Maybe start with the screen. Would that be a good place to start? Sure. Okay. So this is the IntelliView 12 screen, uh, IntelliView 12 monitor we have here. So this is a brand new monitor for us. It's coming out in that model year 20 Genesis T with PLM Intelligence. And right away you can look at, it's very cool what we've had in the past. This is a tablet-based screen. So if you look at the icons, you look at the graphics, it's all much all much more modern, much more up to date. As you can see, it's a 12 inch screen now with IntelliView 12, so it's a bigger screen. Uh, with the graphics here I have, we've got much better graphics. So as you can see here, we go around, and because it is a tablet-based style system, if you wanted to change your view, you have that capability just like you have on your smartphones or your tablets right now to go around and work through it. Right. Uh, for our guys looking to set up and use their position farming, uh, the controls across the top are much more easier laid out. So it's very intuitive. So again, like the icons are what you're used to seeing as you see on a smartphone. So you can very quickly get around to where you need to be. And a very configurable, uh, customizable control here for you with this Sidewinder Armrest uh, as well. So one of the things that we always like to show people here, because one of the really neat features about it is make this to yourself by going to my tractor settings, um, my configurable controls, I come into, I now have choices where I have uh, up to nine configurable buttons here, and I'm going to configure number seven real quick. And I want this to be for guidance. And number seven is the one I have here in my command grip. So now if I'm working in the field and I need to go around, and if I need to nudge to the right every time instead of going and finding a spot over there, I can just hit this button right here on, on my command grip. So this allows them to make this tractor really fit them and be one with the tractor. Okay, explain what we got here, all this. So in this panel right here, we have just a lot of regular controls you're used to seeing. Uh, other features that you have that you're more used to in your automobile. So here you can answer your phone. Uh, you can do your radio stations right here. All those climate control things right here. You come back across, we have our third arm remote controls. And back here, I've got another bank of customizable uh, buttons here for other features. Okay. Right down here, you can catch it. I've got my rear remote paddles or my electronic or hydraulic remotes. Uh, I can customize these to either front or rear. As you can see, they're lit up by LEDs inside there. So if I have this set right now and I wanted to change it, say I have this on remote number one, but I might not have this on remote number five because that's the one I'm gonna use the most all day, I can change this paddle to work on remote number five. Or if I don't have anything on my rear, and I just have something on the front of the tractor, uh, perhaps I've got a, a mower hanging up the front there, 
I can have this set for my front remote. So I can customize that again to whatever I need to do to make it as user friendly as possible. Okay? Okay? Well, again, thanks, Luke, for your time, and thanks to Holland for our hospitality this morning. And I'm Dan Miller, a DTM Progressive Farmer. Have a great day.